This is Matt. He's here at Highland Hill Farm and he's going to describe why he wants to make a big tree into a small tree. Okay, so this is a, uh, geez, what is that, 20 foot tall hornbeam, American hornbeam. I'm going to cut this tree right about here and then I'm going to take off all this root ball and I'm actually going to put it into a big, big pot for it to grow in for about a year. And I'm just going to trim this along the sides here. With that stump, I'm actually going to I'm going to go in there with wood carving tools and I'm going to carve it down so that way it's actually looks like it happened naturally. Like you see a pine tree in the, in the forest would actually fall off and the branch looks um, really aesthetically pleasing. So I'm just going to take this giant tree right here, rip everything off of it, put it in a little pot and let it grow and just cut the branches as I need to um, and then it will be a small tree. Why did you pick the Carpinus, the American hornbeam? Actually, these are really interesting because they're, they have such a gorgeous uh, muscle, muscle trunk. And the roots, especially this one here, I picked this one because this one has a really interesting trunk. I'm, I'm going to cut it right about here, like right below where this, this fork is. And um, they have such a nice root, root spread, which looks like a giant tree. And that's the whole idea when you make a bonsai, is you want it to look like a tree that's been there for... Eons. Yes, and uh, you do that by choosing a, a really interesting tree that has a really big root spread at the bottom. Um, it's a lot easier when you just go and buy a tree that's that's been growing in the ground. How, how long has this been growing in the ground? That's been nine years in the ground. Okay, yeah. So I could so I could start a little seedling off like this one here, let it grow for nine years and dig it up, or I could come and uh, take a tree that would be a that could go in someone's yard or on their farm and cut it down to a little Now, bit. if somebody wants you to do this for them, what's your phone number? Uh, we're, uh, the business is Bonsai Terrarium. We're down in Glenside, Pennsylvania, and our number is 717-330-1437. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, this is an American hornbeam that's going to meet a new fate. So if you need, need to get a hold of Matt, just give him a call. Thank you very much for watching this video. See, it started to root out. It's a very hardy tree, the American hornbeam. It's a native. And that tree's been in the ground about nine years from a seedling. We also sell the seedling of the American hornbeam. So if you need a seedling, give us a call for that as well. But normally on seedlings, we sell them in multiples of 100. I'll cut it right here in these two parts because I can go back later and cut that. Okay, so you're going to cut right? Yeah, I'm just that'll make it easier to cut, I think. I'll just cut it right in here. And then later you're going to go back and re reshape it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead. So I decided to cut it up here right where it forks because it'll be easier to cut with the handsaw. And then later when I get home, I'll actually cut it. I'll cut it down here and then I'll, I'll carve it with a Dremel or a die grinder or something to make it kind of fit in. And um, I guess now let's get started. Okay. Hey, dude, did you guys get the Penny penny Holly here? Is it Penny Holly? You had called about some Hollies? No, my wife was up here and she said you weren't getting... Sky Pencil. Sky Pencil. Is that yeah. then like the, the things that... Yeah, you... they'll be in next Thursday next or Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. That's then. Sky Pencil, yep. Thank you. Yep. Yes. Okay. I feel like a terrible person doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what you want. The wood from these trees is pretty hard. Okay. <laughs> That's how you make a 
big tree into a small tree. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll take it home and I'll just cut back a lot of these and then it'll bud back on the inside there. And, um, and then from the smaller branches, we'll just kind of take them out and wire them. Maybe you could come back and show us some more pictures after yeah. you get it all done, and then we'll yeah. repost that on the you know, YouTube the one as well. Last year, I'll send that. I'll well, that'd send be that great. To you. Okay. Because uh, I, ha I have a picture of me when we got home with it, just standing next to it while it's you know 16 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what happens is, and actually, I don't. Do you guys have like a pruning shoes or anything? Oh, okay, great. Because I'll just, I was just going to cut back some of this some of these branches, so it'll fit in there a bit better. I try to, try to cut it back to like where there's a branch, you know, is it really, this is the kind of thing that, I might even go home and take off some of these big branches anyways and grow the new ones out. This is mostly just so it will fit in the van a little bit better. And actually, one of the things that, you, that I would do is, if there's one of these branches that sticks up, right, like this one kind of does, or that one, I'll take that and just kind of, you can bend it over with wire or take a tire wire to it or something, so that'll be the new top of the tree. And then as it grows up, it'll get thicker. Mm, that should fit too. That should fit pretty good. Yeah, so no, it's just... what are you trying to do with the wire? Huh? What, what do you, what's the purpose of the wiring? Oh. Um, well, let's see, like, these trees actually, see how they kind of grow? They kind of work on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would do is if you took wire, if I was going to wire this, you'd wrap it around there, and then you could take this branch, and I could just move it apart from this one. If I wanted to split these two up, I could move those. And you get the branches kind of moving in all different directions and filling in all the empty areas. It's yeah. like trainer. Exactly. It's training. You want it to be like a real thin. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's why I'll just keep cutting it. I'll just keep cutting it back. Like I'll let it grow. Like I'd let this branch if I was gonna keep that branch, I'd let it grow. I'd probably let it grow out until it gets real fat. And then I, like this branch here, and then actually like I might cut this back to here so that way you have thick branch here and then this thin branch. And this will just keep growing and that transition will it will gradually start to look more natural like a just like a really fat branch and yeah. then the smaller branch comes off of it. I got you. Um, but you have to kind of picture it. <laughs> That's why you have to you have to stare at it for a long time until you figure out what That's what I do with how you're gonna do with it. Plans before I yeah. it, I really kind of try yeah, to exactly. Where and then you gotta gonna picture go. what's gonna happen in the future. <laughs> and then the future is like five years down the road probably. Sure. Especially with, with these trees. If, it, if if I'm good to it, you know, it'll outlive me. It'll, it'll outlive us, right? It's a hardy tree. Yeah, absolutely. Will it to something. Very few pests on this tree. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Well, we'll wait to see some pictures of what you've already accomplished with the other tree you got last year.